Meet the Harris family. They've been living in Singapore for the past one and a half years. Joshua Harris moved his family of five from his hometown of Texas, USA, to Asia five years ago. They've since lived in Manila, the Philippines, Penang, Malaysia, and now Singapore. We really enjoy it here.、Um, yeah, I mean, we don't have a car, so we have to get around with public transportation. So I think the first thing I think of when how livable is Singapore is that we, it's really easy to get around even without a car because the MRT and the buses and the taxis and everything. So、uh, we really enjoy it.、Mm-hmm. Singapore is so accessible, and I think besides that, it's just it's such a beautiful city.、Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's great to live here. I think. So how about housing? Where are all of you like, living now? We live in HDB. We live in Pastoros area,、mm-hmm. so on the east side, and we really like that because it's near the parks,、mm. and uh, uh, so we can get outside a little bit. The kids love to go skating, and Jonathan loves to play basketball. So, there's plenty of places to get outside, which is a big deal for us. So,、mm-hmm. yeah. so how does Singapore compare with, say, Manila or Penang? Well, our first place to live was Manila, and I think one of the biggest challenges there it's there's so many people crammed into、uh, Manila. So I think. Um, you know, people say Singapore's crowded, but if you've been somewhere else like Manila, it's like it's not crowded at all compared to there.、Okay. And、uh, like traffic is is much more diff- challenging there.、Mm-hmm. So I think it, that was more of a culture shock for us. Well, I think Penang and Singapore are much closer,、uh, kind of similar to one another because the cultures are obviously very similar.、Mm-hmm. You have、um, uh, the food's very very similar.、Uh, we were joking before. I think. Uh, we prefer Penang food just a little bit, but Penang's the best food in all Malaysia. So,、uh, what can we say? But、um, that I think、uh, maybe the differences are one big difference was in Penang we really needed to own a car.、Okay. Um, I think it would have been very difficult to get around in public transport in Penang.、Mm-hmm. Whereas here, of course, we don't didn't need a car so much、uh, getting around.、Uh, it's a little bit cheaper to live in Malaysia.、Um, mm-hmm. Of course, the ringgit versus the U.S. dollar for us is, is a better.、Uh, Exchange. exchange, yeah. So,、um, but well, I think with housing, I mean, obviously there we had a, a house, a, like sort of like what we would call a landed property. So we had a, a backyard, a garden、mm-hmm. area, and all those things、mm-hmm. like that. And、uh, I think that would be very challenging financially to do in Singapore,、okay. um, at least for us. And so、um, I think that's one change that was a little bit to get used to. And and, and we're we like being outside and.、Um, Things like that, and so it's a little bit more of a city in Singapore. I mean, there's、mm-hmm. less places like there. We would go to Cameron Highlands or go out somewhere that's more kind of、uh, rural in a way. So, what are your family's favorite hangouts in Singapore? It's another good one. Well, we we're walking distance from Pasir Ris Park,、okay. so we do that usually most weekends. We we go down and we we skate and sometimes we bike, and that's you know really fun.、Mm-hmm. Um, So next to that is downtown East, which has like Wild、oh, Wild、right. Wet, bowling, movie theater.、Mm-hmm. So that's as far as when we're on the East side. When we're coming in more towards the city,、um, I'm a huge Indian food fan. So any place that has Indian food, I figure out a way to get there, and、uh, it's good for the kids. They love naan and they love、uh, tandoori chicken and stuff like that. So it's an easy one for us to eat, and they enjoy. So.、Mm-hmm. Um, so, what's your favorite like Indian restaurant, maybe, or Indian food stop? Well, we just went today、mm-hmm. uh, to uh, Simlim Square. Has a really good little Indian. For me, the places that I know, it's a lot of the food. You know, food court.、Mm-hmm. That just you, you find a little stall. It's that's very new for, for being from America. Is、uh, what we would call a hole in the wall place, like just a small place that doesn't seem like it's、uh, very fancy or something like that. But that's where you find the best food. So, so what improvements do you hope to see in Singapore, maybe, to make it more livable? Wow. Well, I guess I mean there's always the, cha- you know, I start to say, well, well, you know, housing being more affordable, but I suppose, you know, part of that is that because you're working in Singapore and the, the potential to earn income's higher,、okay. so I mean that can kind of balance out there. I mean, in terms of livability, I mean you can't really change the climate, I suppose, unless we're going to put a dome on Singapore and put aircon everywhere. But、uh, I mean, I think the thing for me is I'm, I'm hoping that Singapore will continue to have.、Uh, Uh, an eye towards、uh, saving their environment in terms of having parks and having places outside, because、mm-hmm. I think that would make Singapore less livable. Is if it was all just city,、mm-hmm. you have nowhere to go to a park, you have nowhere to get、mm-hmm. outside,、um, nowhere for the kids to you know skate and run and do those things.、Uh, so that's an important thing for us, but it's more of a conservation thing than a change.、It、would be just to continue to conserve these natural natural areas. Although the Harris family has great things to say about living in Singapore, not everyone feels so positive. 
Up next, we find out what are some of the negative things about Singapore that make it not so livable. Stay tuned. <laughs>